Hello, hello, dears, and welcome back to the latest, most fresh Benidorm news update in Spain. And we're all in the Christmassy mood because this is going to be the last news update before Christmas. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, everyone that are watching our channel Benidorm by Anna. We are at home today because as you can tell by my voice, it's not the best, sadly, after our trip to Sierra Nevada to snowy part of Spain. So we are at home. I'm trying my best to speak. So let's see how it goes. If not, just put the volume slightly higher up so that you could hear what I'm actually telling. The first news that I wanted to share with you all is, as usual, the tourism situation update. What is happening right now in Spain, in particular in Costa Blanca and Benidorm town, since it's only a few days left, well, a week left, before we'll start the brand new year 2024. As per the situation in tourism, tourists actually are spending their Christmas and New Year in Spain as it seems to be. We have a shocking 80% of occupancy on average in Benidorm for Christmas, even Christmas Day, and around 90-91% of occupancy for New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Hotels, a lot of them are full or almost full for these dates, which we could not be happier about than it's a great time. It's great that all families that are working here in tourism sector are actually able to maintain their jobs, even in winter time, when previous years it wasn't the case at all. Apart from that, in the last 15 years, which is great, Benidorm has changed so much. It suffered a metamorphosis, complete one almost where so many hotels have changed their categories from three stars to four stars, sometimes even four stars superior hotels. And they've completely refurbished, renewed themselves from top to bottom parts, which made it even more attractive for British tourists and in general, all types of tourists that are coming to Spain and are choosing Benidorm for their holidays because it gained a lot of weight in terms of quality right now. People know that this hotel is brand new, that the installations are new, everything has been checked, everything has been changed, and now all of it is working, and that there shouldn't be any kind of issues during your stay here in Benidorm, if you choose these types of hotels. There's a lot of loyal British tourists too, that are not only coming in summertime, but also coming back in winter and half of all tourists of summer and winter seasons are loyal British customers, which is actually incredible. So it is quite busy. It is busy, even though some of the streets might seem um, slightly empty, especially at night time where there is not a lot of entertainment and where there is not a lot of things to do at night. These streets will seem empty to you. But once you head to the city center, this is where all the magic is actually happening, especially on weekends. The second news that I wanted to share with you all is about a huge, huge change that Benidorm will be facing in 2024. You know that Benidorm never stops. There's a lot of building work. There's a lot of refurbishment. There's a lot of new projects. There's a lot of everything in Benidorm town. And this one is very important. It's probably one of the most important projects that we've been waiting for such a long time because it's unfinished project. And it is the Mediterranean Avenue project, the main artery of Benidorm. The last part of it going from the Avenue of Europe where the Belroy Hotel is located up until the Triangular Square is so nice, so beautiful. There's pedestrian priority always. There's only one line of cars passing by, maximum 10 kilometers per hour. Um, the area is wider for pedestrians to have a lovely walk. There's a lot of green trees and uh, even mandarin or orange trees there. So it's a lot of natural shade. It's just a lovely place to be. So right now from 2024, the second of the three phases of this project 
will be starting. We could not be more excited for it. It's this one right here you can see on the map. It's going to be from the finished part up until the Avenue of Philippines, which is where the Hotel Gold Arcos is located. And it's this one right here you can see on the screen. So it's two of the three parts will officially be renewed. And this means, obviously, that there's going to be a lot of cuts in traffic. There's going to be a lot of building works going on. We still do not know the exact date on when it's going to be happening, but it will be happening sometime in 2024. So whenever you're booking a hotel, you need to check with the hotel, especially if it's on Mediterranean Avenue. You need to check if they have the official documents when the building works will be starting or ask someone who knows, check our updates, subscribe to our channel and check the community tab every now and then if you have any kind of update on it or something interesting, something useful for you guys if you're coming to Benidorm town or Spain in general, especially our region of Costa Blanca, because there's going to be a lot of noise. They're going to be taking out all the entire road that there is right now, two ways on one side, two ways or two paths on the other one and everything will be changing it's going to be a big building work for 2024 and we are more worried not only for hotels because people do not tend to sleep during the day that much in summer but there's a lot of tourists in summer benidorm is full starting from easter up until late october month so if the building work will be happening somewhere between these dates will be in a big trouble because there's going to be a lot of people and if businesses cannot be accessed correctly, if the public transport is not running smooth, all this will affect the reputation of Benidorm. So we sincerely hope it's not going to be happening at least in the peak season, like peak summer months. And hopefully it's going to be all finished and by 2025, hopefully there's going to be a third and the final phase which will complete the Mediterranean Avenue, clear it out of traffic as much as possible. And it's going to be a long, longest avenue with a lot of green trees, a lot of natural plants, flowers, natural shade, great places to sit down on the benches, to enjoy the area and have a lovely walk in the heart of Benidorm. Let us know if you enjoyed the brand newly made part. And if you would like to see the whole Mediterranean Avenue like this, because in a couple of years' time, it's when it will become a reality completely. We will need to wait and see what's going to be happening with the public transport. Probably will still be running down Mediterranean Avenue when it's all done. But when the building work will be happening, a lot of the times they will move the traffic to other streets. So public transport will be affected at some point. Point, but we'll keep you informed as usual. And now let's talk about the last news, which is Benidorm is still suffering from a lot of issues in the city center, which are these streets right here of different types of transport, which is alternative to cars, such as bicycles, such as mobility scooters, or um, segways of a kind. In winter, it's less, but when the summer season kicks in, it's an absolute nightmare. A lot of people are walking down the streets. You know, these are the shopping streets of Benidorm. These are the streets that lead you from the city center towards the Levante Beach, uh, towards the public transport, towards different types of restaurants, cafeterias and bars and entertainment as well. So a lot of people use these streets. But every now and then you can see some bicycle passing by full speed or especially the delivery such as um, Uber Eats or uh, Just Eat or uh, Delivero. You know, all these delivery apps that we have in Benidorm town, they are just flying past you and they don't care that it's a pedestrian part and you're not allowed to use any kind of mobility vehicle out there except for mobility scooters if you are disabled if you cannot walk on your own and if you respect the speed then yes but apart from that it's not actually possible so there's been a lot of issues there are small children a lot of them that are just walking by with their parents there's a lot of pets like dogs walking on the leash uh, there's a lot of elderly people, so 
It's a big inconvenience in this case, and it's actually dangerous. So Benny Dom decided to put way more signs. They're preparing them, so they'll be installed somewhere around January or February, hopefully right before the summer season will kick in once again. And there's also a lot of excursions that are going with segways, etc. I get that people need to pass through these areas. You know, they need to see all the interesting oldest buildings, the oldest streets of Benny Dom. But these excursions will not be available any longer, probably, due to the fact that they are done with mobility vehicles when it's actually not possible on these streets. So Benidorm is becoming really, really strict because mostly because of the safety and also because the neighbors of this area, of this particular part of Benidorm, have signed the specific petition to ask to put more signs, make it more visible, uh, and do something with it so that the mobility vehicles could not pass through these streets due to the safety of the neighbors and also of all the people, all the tourists and people who are coming to this area of Benidorm to make it slightly more safe. Because even though we have way less issues right now, but still some of them are happening because either people don't know it's not possible or people just ignore it in case of delivery people or in case of different excursions. So we'll see how the signs will change and how the area will change once these brand new signs will appear magically in the center of um, Benidorm. Hopefully it's going to be for the best. And now let's talk about the weather. And you would think it's almost Christmas. It's almost Christmas Eve. Just in a couple of days, it's Christmas Eve what the weather should be like and what it is like. Some people did mention, we would like to see the rain in Benny Dorm. We would like so too. We residents here in the area would like to see some rain in Benny Dorm as well. But sadly, it's not the case. It's not been raining here for a really long time. And it's definitely not going to be raining at least one week more. There is some rain north parts of Spain, central parts of Spain, yes but not here on the Mediterranean side and especially not here in Benidorm because our microclimate is protecting us so, so much that we've not seen it for quite a while, I must say. Proper nice rain didn't happen for a very, very long time when it should have been already here, especially right now in winter. Instead, we have a gorgeous sunny weather. The sun is shining a lot. There's blue, blue skies with not a single cloud on the horizon. And this is what it's going to be throughout this whole entire week up until next Friday. And in terms of temperatures, uh, right now we have around 17, 18 degrees. Peak moments of the day might be up until 19 but only for a short amount of time. Usually it's like 17, 18. And throughout whole this entire week, we will still have the same temperature. So we'll spend Christmas with 18 degrees outside. And it's more than probable that a new year will not be any exception. Probably on new year, it's also going to be as nice as warm as it is right now. So it's very, very strange weather. Um, this year and last couple of years, it's been incredibly uncommon for our region. But it is what it is, so we better enjoy it while we can. All the rays of sunshine, barely any wind at all, blue skies, a lot of vitamin D, great atmosphere, great time and moment to explore everything that Benidorm has to offer. Maybe even surrounding areas, travel to Alicante, to Albir, Altea, Old Town, Anywhere you can, even up until Calpe or Denia, why not? The train service is available for you guys in Benidorm too. Or use any kind of public transport, rent a vehicle, grab a few e-bikes and travel around because there is so, so much to see. And you have a lot of the videos about what you can see in Benidorm here on the channel. So check it out because there's definitely a lot to do here, even in winter time. We've even seen a couple of people swimming yesterday in Benidorm on the Levante Beach. If you did not check that video, check it out. It's the last one we've published before the news update. We wish you an incredible day. Happy, happy holidays. We wish you to spend it with your loved ones, with your family, relatives, those you would like to spend this incredible time of the year with. And if you are on holidays, enjoy your holidays wherever you go. 
Thank you for accompanying us today and we'll see you in a new video tomorrow here on the channel with a lovely sunny walk down the Poniente Beach where we discover the non-Christmas market and an authentic Santa Claus with a Christmassy mobility scooter walking on the Poniente Beach. Don't miss it. Bye.